Well, when there's a fire, we're all taught to stop, drop and roll, but firefighters responding to the emergency need you to stop and pull over. Local fire stations are seeing an increase of drivers ignoring safety precautions. THB 11's Rebecca Brown has more on what you can do to help everyone stay safe. When you're driving down the road and hear the sirens, it means pull over and stop because every second counts in a life or death situation. We don't know if an if, uh, individual that called in is bleeding, hurt, uh, if they're not breathing. So uh, we try to get there as quick as we can to uh, try to make a difference. A firefighter's job is to provide aid and rescue in a time of need. But lately they've been running to some obstacles causing a bit of a time delay. We're seeing an increase in accidents, but uh, a lot of them are, are fender benders, you know, just uh, people bumping the apparatus, but uh, we are seeing a lot of inattentive driving. On Tuesday, a Little Rock fire truck was involved in an accident on 65th and Geyer Springs. Luckily, no one suffered life-threatening injuries. However, Captain Jason Weaver with the Little Rock Fire Department says their station is paying a steep price when drivers choose to ignore the sirens and lights. You're looking at over three quarters of a million, around a million dollars. And if you get into a tiller truck, they're over a million dollars now. Weaver says like many stations across the state, they're suffering from a shortage of fire trucks and these accidents don't help. We've been behind for several years and now there's a delay in getting apparatus. So we're looking at ordering a new one will take us about 24 months. Overall, Weaver says if it's big and red with sirens and a horn, make sure you stop and pull over. What would I want for my family if they're responding to my house? You know, I want the roads clear. Everybody pull to the right and give them as much, you know, much room as they need get there quickly and safely and take care of whatever emergency has been called in. In Little Rock, Rebecca Brown, THV 11 News. Rebecca, thank you. Arkansas has a move over law that requires drivers to pull over for emergency vehicles. If you're caught violating the law, you could have to pay a fine or lose your license.